Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey. Got this beautiful mint condition street glide in for an NVS Audio wire and rescue and a tune. The client kept having issues where the audio would go in and out. He had no idea why. Um, they used some uh, cheap wiring and some trailer connectors that weren't making good connection. Then um, they put the amplifiers in the fairing and instead of using a water cover, they tried to silicone the edges of the amplifier and use cellophane tape. It was just really, really bad. So um, in doing this and trying to cram everything in the fairing, they damaged the Diamond Audio DSP. I opened it up and tried to solder the traces back on the board, but I couldn't. I still had channels going in and out. So we had to replace the DSP when HKM Mini, which fits better anyway. But we got his two Diamond Audio Micro Fours to fit in the fairing. We um, reconfigured the way it was wired. So now we have more power to the six mine woofers. Uh, the tweeters have their own channel. The six navs have their own channels. So uh, I'm gonna show you the before and after. They tried their best to make this water resistant by putting glue and tape on everything, even the DSP. but the mess of wiring is crazy. And then they use speed wire, which we only use for signal input, to run the saddlebag speakers. And then trailer connectors, which are horrible for audio signal, but good for taillights. So we're gonna have to replace that. We're gonna have to replace that. The wiring's pretty clean, they just used the wrong wiring. Power wiring's good. I'm not exactly sure how the amps are held in. Oh, one really long drywall screw. Hey, at least it's bolted down. Saran wrap to keep water off the amplifiers. Alright, we were able to reconfigure the amps with our new mounting plate. DSP tucks nicely in the side. Now we have to repair the factory harness. So they cut the hell out of the factory harness. We're going to put it all back to factory and then use RT harness. So we have to remove this, reconnect these. Okay, so on further inspection, I guess the crossover points were too low and it was sending too much heat through the crossover and it actually burnt through the heat shrink and was actually starting to melt the crossover and the wiring. That one's okay. That one melted through. that one melted you can see where the resistor is burnt and it started to melt through the capacitor so we're gonna have to replace all these crossovers that's a lot of heat Okay, everything's been reaccommodated. We had a couple of channels out on the Diamond Audio DSP, so we went with an HCAM Mini and it fits better anyway. All cleaned up. So now the tweeters have their own channels, the six and a half have their own channels, and the second amplifier is bridged across the six by nines. Much better looking install. And now we're gonna use the water cover. Hold that side up. And it's gonna keep everything protected.
propongo 